We ride! We're off to find an ocean, deciding directions with the flip of a coin. Although our real pursuit are the adventures along the way. Tell me I'm not overlanding. Try and tell me I'm not freaking overlanding. Change in clutch. I got a thousand pound boat. There's no way that thing's gonna make it. Oh, we're backtracking now. Yeah. Broken van, side of the road, middle of nowhere, everybody left us. Seems like a good time for adventure. Oops. <laughs> what did we learn? Um. They're on their way to Flagstaff, so they can go get the part. I hit up Eva. The bikes just got to her house, so that's good news. Bad news is we can't go pick them up because uh, we lost the tensioner, but she might have tools. So if she has tools and they get the part, then maybe we can fix this bad boy and get back to living the dream. That's a Ford, 90, 1997 Ford E350 Super Duty with a 7.3 diesel in it. Yeah, that looks like that dual tester setup. You probably only just need the pulley. If they sell you a tester pulley, yep, it's easy to bolt it, bolt it back on and throw the belt on it. <laughs> I gotta call these people back and try to get that, try to get that accent back. That's not looking like I have anything at all. I'm actually not even seeing part numbers for that guy for whatever reason. I'm gonna try and look it up again on another computer. I'd have a hard time believing that too, because that would hurt my feelings. So I've got the, I've got a Duralast Heisler Pulley at $24.99 with a one-year warranty. All right, now we're in business. If you can somehow get online, you can pay for it there, or... Um, I'll just reimburse my buddies, man. I got my buddies coming for it anyways. Bunch of long hairs you'd be gotcha, looking gotcha. for. Um, um, tell you what, uh, Xander, you've been very helpful. You're not like those hard drug doing folks over at the O'Reilly, and I appreciate it. Oh, you want to know what it says? It says, down on my luck, couldn't even find a decent sized piece of cardboard to communicate, and all they had was this red marker. Anyway, I could really use a half inch brake bar and a T55 Torx. Love B. I think somebody's got to have one. And you have, uh, you have Dust, Dust brought the parts. I'm the looker and uh, Chip's the mechanic on this run. <laughs> uh, wish us luck. So, um, on the way into Flagstaff, uh, several, several hours ago, uh, Brady's van broke down, so we ripped into Flagstaff, got the part, and then sent Snake Dust back to him. Snake Dust was voluntold to go do it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, they were stuck there for a while. <laughs> Easier said than done, isn't it? Moment of truth. Oh! 
47 miles to Graceland. Dust, you ready? Don't do this. Coming for you, Flagstaff. The next day, we decided for a quick one hour trip to Sedona because Jeff wouldn't shut up about the sunset. So ships got some awesome drone footage as we rolled down the canyon, and I convinced them to come back up to pick him up with me. And then... Oh, they came back up and now... They got this. Sorry, dudes. Like, my crotch was just in, like, a fishbowl. Yeah, my dick was a goldfish. <laughs> have service or anything so we didn't know what the forecast was gonna be so we just kind of sat back and enjoyed the show and it was I've never seen the lightning storm like that it was it was intense like just every 15 seconds at least there was just some crazy lightning and uh, yeah so it was we just sat back and watched and hope for the best hey, little Hollywood, you're gone. Morning, dudes. Oh. Did inside your tent get wet? Oh, it's really dewy right now. Yeah. yeah. Brady and I found this BLM like a couple years ago. Awesome find. This is a flame fire horse with gold tooth. He's badass, dude. And then, yeah, I just sprung a leak, so I He's got He's crying. <laughs> He's crying blood and ink. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I got... My drunk again mouse, he's in a martini glass. What's this one? Oh, panther, no pants? Yeah, so my buddy Mike L did all of these. He's freaking awesome. Dude, uh, at the Flagstaff Tattoo Company. And so it's the sucky panther. He's turning around, giving the middle finger and a look back, it's pretty sweet. And then he's panther, no pants. South, we got Phoenix, Scottsdale. We will say what up to Nilo, I think. And then we got, what's, what's right? Los Angeles. California, California, Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree, hell yeah, man. Uh, I'm going right. Right. Going, to I, need, I need some Joshua Tree in my life, man. Well, Ships is true. I need some Ships is true in my life. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, without further ado, uh, let's flip the coin. Sure. Whoop. Hey! Ships is true. Tree it is. Yeah. Hey. Aloha, Ships is true. Nice. <laughs> Today's reading comes from the good book of the... Start over. <laughs> Today's reading comes from the good book of the... Start over. Nothing can satisfy <laughs> greed. <laughs> Nothing can satisfy greed, but even a small measure satisfies nature. So it is that poverty of an exile brings no misfortune, for no place of exile is so barren as not to produce ample support for a person. It can be beneficial to reflect on what you used to accept as normal. Consider your first paycheck, how big it seemed then. Or your first apartment, with its own bedroom and bathroom and the ramen you gladly scarfed down in the kitchen. Today, you've become more successful. These conditions would hardly feel sufficient. In fact, you probably want even more than what you have right now. Yet a few years ago, these paltry conditions were not only enough, they felt great. When we become successful, we forget how strong we used to be. We are so used to what we have, 
We'd have we half believe we'd die without it. Of course, this is just the comfort talking. In the days of the world wars, our parents and grandparents made do with rationed gas, butter, and electricity. They were fine, just as you have been fine when you had less. Remember today that you'd be okay if things suddenly went wrong. Your actual needs are small. There's very little that could happen to you that would truly threaten your survival. Think about that, and adjust your worries and fears accordingly. Black Bear Diner, my favorite. Black Bear Diner? Yeah, I was gonna go to another place, but I uh, I saw this, I'm like, I will have a big ice water and a glass of water. I would like the California Benedict. With the, with the, the uh, with an extra egg, please. I personally am a hash brown fan, but we sell a lot of things. Well, I trust there. you way more than I trust the general pocket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got a candle. No, no, that was not. Oh, okay. That, yeah, the California Benedict. See, I was right. <laughs> Mama Bear, Chipotle, hell yeah. 24 hours sun, make up for the dark. We can hide our way out problems till the winter starts. Tough one to catch for Sunset. I don't think it's gonna happen again. So uh, go into town and get some food. Have a good barbecue. Um, a lot of drinks. It's the only remedy for a long ride. A lot of drinks. All right, so we made it. Uh, as per our MO, it is pitch black. We got a little bit of a sunset coming in, but we're here. Uh, well, three of us are here. We sent Brady and ships to grab some, some firewood. Um, it was about an hour ago, and they have all of our food and firewood and booze, which would be nice right now take some guesses on how long it's gonna be. I'm gonna say probably another half hour and we'll see a car go by and then we'll have to chase it down because they will drive right by. Okay, I'm gonna say, what do you think? I'm gonna say 45. 45? Try two minutes, suckers. <laughs> and then me and Jeff ended up having a couple of, a couple bottles of wine and went climbing up on top of all the jumbo rocks <laughs> and listened to Pink Floyd and stared at stars for a couple hours. And going up was fantastic, but we failed to take into consideration the wine that was consumed and getting down was a lot more difficult. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm at, you just got attacked by a bush. Dude, are we lost? I think this is, isn't this the way we came? Just, a couple of giggle monsters trying to find our way home. We got lost, and and yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Hey bar, when are you trying to get down? <laughs> <laughs> Ships. Yeah, I put on my like my like shoe socks this morning. So do we go that way? Or do we try and go that If we want to be safe, go that way. If we want to adventure, that way. Let's adventure. Oh. Obviously. And we got lost. And we weren't full. We were empty. And it came upon us. It was a skull rock. And it was radical. 
out of Cold Skull Rock. We climbed up in its eyeball. And then I climbed in its nose. It was fun for all. It was free for all. One man just be for all. And that skull rock could see for all. Cause its eyes were big as Turbo's brain. Just leave it on the side of the Guess what day it is? It's new underwear day. Congratulations to Snake Dust. Okay, you freaking. Just leaving it somewhere? Amateurs, man, I can't do this. Sweet. Let's do a shower. New underwear day. It's gonna be beautiful. The Great American Joshua Tree. Founded in uh, East Virginia by the Scandinavian folk, they quickly stole it and took it over to California to plant it in their infertile, dry, <laughs> arid, arid fart desert. And it grew, and it made Joshua Tree babies. And then they went extinct, and all these are fake. <laughs> So, uh, Turbo found on a map that there's a sea just south of here. We flipped from Mexico, so I guess it's like the Sea of Cortez. We're pretty close to an ocean here. This is typical me. Uh, I found a guitar and picked it up and was in my own little world, so I have absolutely no idea what's happening today. Uh, and I kind of like that. I like sort of being surprised and being oblivious to things. Uh, we made it to the ocean. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go for a swim. It's gonna be great. Hell yeah! You guys know this isn't an ocean. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's the sea. The Salton Sea. Good enough. What? So I just looked it up. It's a lake. But it's a sea. Lake. He even just said it was the Salton Sea. Like, the sea is isn't the that ocean. like the master of the oceans? Sea, ocean, pond, lake, whatever it is, I'm going swimming. Well, Brady's going in. He thinks it's salt water. Sorry, Bob. Salton. Even though we'd uh, warned him that it's the most toxic body of water in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget your shoes, bud. <laughs> that looks like real water. That's not the ocean. <laughs> Uh, forget the shoes. It's not the ocean. Oh. 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 Brady and Chips had to head home, so we never really got to see the ocean. But we had the most real memories with some of my favorite humans on the planet. I wouldn't change a thing. Yeah, we didn't make it, but you know, it's always nice to leave some nuggets on the road. You know, for next time. Toast me on another year Another year of hope Another year of old law For you drinkers by day We're past the dawn And I hope I will see you soon When I be home Come hell or high water And I know I will see you soon Yeah, I'll be 
If you'd please make the charge like good out of me. Let me do it. Is he on the max one? Get him safe. Yeah. Wait a second. That wasn't an ocean? Oh, gather round friends and neighbors who make your living by labor and share with me this little time. This little time that we have left to have a drink and get a breath. Well, it might just be what saves our lives and I hope I will see you soon. And I'll be home come hell or high water and I know If you got them, drink your glasses to the bottom and listen to the howling dogs. And oh, how it pleases me to be in such company. And I'm so glad our paths have crossed. And I hope I will see you soon. And I'll be home come hell or high water. And I know I will see I'll be home, come hell or high water, and I know I will see you soon. We've got our work suits on. It's time to fix a van. Uh, Ships is doing most of the work, uh, but I look like I should work here. <laughs> and you have, uh, you have dust, to dust. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Hello again. We are now in a place called Joshua Tree. These are Mi Amigos. Josh Ships, you have Snake Dust, Brady, and Jeff. These guys pull us. There's a van and three bikes. Right past them is a pump where they can fuel up. And then I can pull up to this pump. What do they do? They stop at the first pump. And I sit here with my thumb in my butt. I love them. I love them more than life itself. I, I would do anything for these boys, but they are factory kids, man. Except for Turbo. Turbo's cool. Snake Dust, actually, too. He's all right. But uh, every single, every single one of the rest of them is uh, eh, just all right, too. Shit. I tried to pee on Brett one time from a dirt bike in Thailand. <laughs> While you were riding? Yeah. Hang it off? Oh yeah. Shut it off to the side. <laughs> Peed all over myself. I don't, think I, gotta, I don't think I got a drop on Brett. But. How many inches do you want off? Just two, I guess. You're a brand new man, man. I'm a new woman. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see that? That is in here, done, then set. <laughs> this is like the spot for Brady. His favorite is like a jungle gym of death for Brady. Up there? Hey, ships, look. I'm overlanding. Focus that on ships' lens. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, hold on, let me take off my sweater real quick. Oh, no, no, you broke my heart! <laughs> <laughs> what a couple of dumbasses. Wait, we gotta go to you in a little bit.
we are there, man. It's us and an ocean. That's what's up. Dudes, hell yeah, high fives.